Okay, Federal Express is afraid is about to deliver an Alpha 77 SX amplifier from Dick Bird in for UQ, who's gone through the whole thing for me. Here it comes. How you doing? Good, thanks. How you doing? Highly anticipated delivery. We're oh, video. Yes. We're videotaping. <laughs> what am I bringing you? You're bringing us a uh, vintage ham radio amplifier. Really? It's very rare and very collectible. Does that Pretty look like fun. it? Yes, sir. It does look like it. You can see FedEx is the only way to get this thing delivered. They're the only people that know what they're doing and don't smash stuff. You can see the boxes are in perfect pristine condition. So the lesson is if you're going to buy one of these amplifiers, this is how it's shipped and you only use Federal Express. There you go. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, then the first, the main box is open with the amplifier and you can see that the packing job is just spectacular and this is the packing material that was purchased from Alpha for this amplifier. Perfect fit. So let's unbox this thing and see what we got. Okay, so out of the box but still unwrapped, here is an Alpha 77 SX. Let's get the plastic off and see what we got here. Alright, boy, here is this beauty. And did Dick do a beautiful job on this or what? It's new panels. New front panel, everything, the meters look spectacular. Holy cow, is this nice. Even the knobs are just pristine, they're just perfect. No scratches. Everything just looks absolutely amazing on this thing. Yeah. Serial number 3184. Service by Dick Bird, n4uq.com. And actually, he went through this uh, two years ago. Okay. Very good. Okay. The controls on the back of here, the RF output. Place for the power cord, fuses, etc. Okay, and then having taken the uh, top cover off of this, you can see the transformer is not installed. Um, but the crank handle Dick taped inside of there, so that's the uh, crank where the tune control was not installed for shipping. Okay, and here's the transformer, double boxed, beautifully packaged. All set to go. It's looking pretty sweet. Very fun. Wow. And we'll take the top off the RF compartment and see what we got here. Alright, here's the business end of things. The RF compartment. Take a look at what we got here. This thing is beautifully built. All right, and here's a thing of beauty, an Alpha 77 SX amplifier um, installed in my station. Just love this thing. God, it's just a beautiful, beautiful machine here. Multimeter over on the left average plate current on the right and then the various control buttons. Um, when Dick refurbished this he also sent along a sheet um, with numbers on it for dummy load testing for approximate tune and load settings for each band. 
real handy so you don't have to completely fish around. You just have to tune it and figure out what's up with your antennas, but it's a starting point anyway. We have a uh, Palstar 5K dummy load and then also an LP100A uh, digital watt meter, and it's set for the peak mode right now. Let's see what our drive level is, is right now. We're on 40 meters. Into the dummy load, 130 watts. Let's see what the output is here. We'll uh, turn the amplifier on to the high voltage setting. And that is about, uh, let's see here, about 3,800 volts, no load. Under load, it drops considerably. Um, okay, let's see what we're at here. 130 watts drive, and that gives us about 4 kilowatts output into the dummy load. And uh, the manual says you can um, drive this with up to 175 watts, but I, in my experience, I don't have any idea how that's possible uh, given trying to control the grid current. The grid current, the book says, keep uh, 200 to 300 mils for the two tube amplifier. And uh, of course, don't want to go anything above that and love to keep it lower than that to preserve the life of the tubes. But anyway, 130 watts in gives. 4,000 watts out, Alpha 77 SX, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful amplifier. Dick did a spectacular job restoring this amplifier. Here's the website, eham.net, a popular place for amateur radio operators to go to look up reviews of products and services. Here is uh, Dick's uh, listing right here, 21 reviews, and his average rating is 5 out of 5 on a scale of 1 to 5. The last review on there happens to be mine, since I just got my amplifier back from him. Okay, and here is Dick Bird's uh, website, N4UQ. He restores uh, legacy alpha amplifiers to just spectacular condition, beautiful, like new condition. And uh, his website is very complete. There's Dick. There's the man right there that does the work on the amplifier. Very personable, cordial, extremely easy to work with, and boy does he know legacy alpha amplifiers. And then uh, on his webpage there's a very long list for frequently asked questions about the older alpha amplifiers. Lots of information here. And under services on Dick's website you can see Alpha 77 DX, D, and SX, repairs, second tube edition, big rectifiers, big fuse holders. And he did all of that to my amplifier. It was an Alpha 77 DX in pretty rough shape. He went through it and just made it absolutely gorgeous, as you can see in this video. Dick works by appointment only. Here's his address and phone number. And uh, his website is very complete. Lots of good information on there. And uh, once you've got an appointment set up and uh, you know that you're good to go, then he'll give you instructions on exactly how to ship your amplifier so that it is not destroyed in shipping. On Dick's website, there's actually a link for anyone interested in having an Alpha 77DX um, upgraded to the two-tube amplifier. You just scroll down and click on the link that says, click here to see if your 77 is qualified for the second tube. And then there's a big long page here with lots of information and specific things to check for website is n4uq.com. Again, Dick does just a beautiful job with these amplifiers. You can look at this amp and it looks like new. It is just stunning. Spectacular. 120, 130 watts in, 4K out into a dummy load, so it loafs at legal limit all day. No problem at all. Great job, Dick. Thank you so much for all the wonderful help getting this amplifier going.